is going on about a year and a half since I've had a Challenger. The model 1050 Challenger, uh, which is 517 horsepower, and mainly it's a plow tractor. Our big implements we use it, and uh, we got smaller tractors that we bail hay with and haul hay with and 4K, but this is mainly just a plow tractor. Uh, we still have John Deere tractors that are on 500 horsepower articulating tractors. Oh, just kind of got talked into it one day, and and I've always done business. I've bought my hay swathers and all my hay motors from Livingston Machinery. And anyway, I had an engine trouble with one of my John Deere, so I ended up trading it and, and uh, came up with this. But it's a little more fuel economy wise. It's a little bit cheaper to operate. It's cost much money up in front, but it's still a little more economical to run. Compared to the same tractor and the John Deere, using the same plow, uh, it'll probably use four to five gallons of fuel less than what a John Deere would be for the same thing. Oh, 1979, uh, I bought the first big boater from Earl Livingston, and uh, ever since then we've we go back. He kind of pioneered it, and I kind of pioneered it, and uh, we learned together. And and through the years, they've made a better product. And you know, there's no, I, I can't even count how many big baiters I have. Right now, we're running seven big baiters, and uh, but over the years, I'm, I'm not too sure how many I bought. You know, through Livingston, but they've always had good service and good mechanics. So it's kind of made a healthy relationship. Not a another dealership around here that's close enough that it'll treat you like Livingston Machine has treated me. You know, there's several John Deere stores, you know, within 30 minute drive of my home, but uh, they still don't have the capabilities of giving me the service that Livingston has. We're friends, basically, and all the mechanics, we're friends, and I got their cell numbers. I can call them at all hours of the day and night, and they, if they can't answer my you know, my problem over the phone, then they'll, they'll find somebody that can help me out. But, you know, and they're always on call, you know. It's not like you have to wait till the store opens up at 8 o'clock and they close at 5. The day's not done, so they still, they're still there for you during the middle of the night. The availability of parts and uh, the mechanics that have the knowledge to solve your problem if you have one. So, you know, been able to work on it and they got good service people that'll come out in the field and fix your problems.